Like humans, animals also get cancer and need to be diagnosed and treated using radiation. In fact, the use of radiation in veterinary medicine is increasing worldwide. We treat uh, a broad spectrum of species uh, that range from very small animals like small reptiles or birds up to very big and heavy animals like horses, cows and exotic zoo animals. Veterinary and human medical procedures are different. For example, in radiotherapy, animals need anesthesia to remain still enough for vets to target the correct part of the body. Examinations such as x-rays often take place outside of veterinarian facilities, and owners or staff need to hold the animals during the procedures so they do not move. If it is necessary that people are uh, um, in the room during the investigation, then it's important to reduce the effective dose. Training and protective clothing, such as lead aprons, thyroid shields, and gloves, can also help protect staff from unnecessary radiation. The IAEA is developing its first safety report on radiation protection for veterinary medicine. The animals, they uh, don't follow instructions well, so we have uh, difficulty in getting them to cooperate for even simple procedures. So this was a response to give both the regulatory authority and the veterinarian professionals some guidance on how to use radiation safely.